So now that you have them, you're going to do what the 3x3 three three reduction does, uh, or what you do with the 3x3, three three and make the cross on the top. So, just do that. And there we have it. Now sometimes you'll get a little straggler in there for the corner, but that's okay. This corner just happens to be properly oriented if you do not know how to orient a corner. This is how. Um, you put the corner off to one of the edges so that it will go in. You bring it up, replace the corner, and put it back down. Um, I try to only solve this one corner at a time, so going back to this corner, our next step uh, is going to be solving this piece, only that piece. Not this one as well, just this one. This is going to be using a 3x3 three three algorithm uh, for putting the edges in, so you should already know this if you know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. The first step is to find uh, the other green red. None of them are up here, so here's one and here's one. So we're just going to replace it. And this happens to be the correct one. You want to have the green top opposite the green center and then perform the algorithm. And there you have it. So you're going to do this for all of them, putting the, cent the corners in and then putting in the corresponding edge piece. And now you have the entire first two layers solved. Aren't you proud of yourself? You should be. All right. Now, this is very important. This is how you avoid parity. Okay? You must properly align your corners. Forget about these pieces. Forget about these center parts, uh, center edges. Just properly orient your corners. You can use the 3x3 three three algorithms to do this. Okay. Once you have that done, uh, you're going to line up one of the yellow sides here with its corresponding corners. Put that on the white back on the top to perform these following algorithms. All right. So you want to put the red with the red. Always remember this. This is very, very important. The red goes to the red because the yellow will go on top, the red will go on the side with this algorithm. All right, this is the algorithm. And there you have it. Now, this piece was replacing this. This piece actually came over here but that's not really a big deal. Um, so now you want to take your blue piece, find the blue centers, and perform the algorithm again. Replace.
and now you'll notice that there are no more. It's actually these two that must be switched. This is just intuitive, okay? You're just going to simply take this piece out by replacing it with another. So use the same algorithm. Take it out and replace it with the other. And now you have put it up here to replace. Red, red. There we go. There we go. So, once you have that, you'll notice that all of these are done. So you now have three of the layers completed, except for this one. This is very easy. Uh, it does require a couple of algorithms to do, but they are very simple. When you have a case where one is solved and the other three sides are not, you will perform this algorithm on the side that has the same color. Blue and blue is the same color. Purple and green is not the same color. So you're not going to perform this algorithm on that side. You're going to do it on this side. In this case, it's going to be this algorithm. And there you have it, completely solved. Now, sometimes you will get a parity case. Um, it's not really a parity case. I just call it that because it's unusual to get it. Um, I'll actually show it to you. And here you go. Uh, it's when you have only two switched, and the other two are properly oriented. Um, so you will perform this algorithm. Do not hold them so that they are facing you. Hold them so that they are on the top. Okay? And just do this. and it will be all solved. Um, most of the time when you perform this algorithm it will actually flip-flop the white and yellow and all you'll have to do is pull up the sides and switch them and bring them back down like this. Uh, except these will be all solved. Um, it's not very difficult to figure out. It's intuitive. Uh, it will mess up the top layer, but then you solve it like a 3x3. Three three. Uh, it will not have any parity cases uh, when you do it that way. Uh, this method works every time. Uh, it's not too difficult. I can solve the 4x4 four four in about 6 minutes. Um, I have big fingers and I'm kind of slow with it. But uh, I use the same method. On the 5x5, five five, you can perform the exact same method on the 5x5. Five five. Uh, the only difference is that when you are filling in the uh, second layer, um, on the 5x5 five five, you have to fill in the second layer and the third layer, and leave this fourth layer blank to fill in the wings. 
So, uh, that's my tutorial. My name is John Owl, or Jonathan Beals. Uh, and thank you for watching. Hope this helps.